हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू बी आई आर पी सोल्यूशन आई एम प्रीति वर्किंग एज ऑरिकल फ्यूजन टेक्नो फंक्शनल कंसल्टेंट सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सप्लायर पोर्टल एक्सेस सो वेन यू आर क्रिएटिंग सप्लायर इन योर एप्लीकेशन इफ इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू गिव द एक्सेस टू द सप्लायर वेर ही कैन मैनेज द इन्वॉइज परचेज ऑर्डर्स एंड द डिटेल्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द प्रोडक्ट्स देन इन दैट केस यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड द सप्लायर पोर्टल एक्सेस to the supplier so this is the screenshot of creating supplier and at the time of creating supplier you have to enable one checkbox that is create the user account as well so this is the place where we will create the supplier in the application then we have to create the address for the site uh, of supplier and then while creating the contact for the supplier we have to at the contact address here we have to provide the email id here we have to provide the contact name and when you will enable this check box for creating the user account what application will do by default it will create the user account and it will provide the rows to the user which are related to the supplier by providing these rows only the contact will uh, get the access to the supplier portal then in the data access you will see that these are the rights which are restricted to the supplier only so in the data access you can see here the access is uh, restricted to the supplier these are the rules and the data access is restricted to the supplier then here we have to create the site for the supplier and when you will click on save and close then the user will get the mail on his mail id where uh, it will get the link where he can reset the id password so this is the link where uh, you can reset the password and then you can uh, log in with the credentials so now we will directly move to our application so this is the user that i have created for the supplier and you can see by default the system has provided this user the roles which are related to the supplier and this user will have limited access which are related to the supplier information from where he can create the purchase orders he can maintain the details which are related to the product and also he can issue the invoice by this supplier portal access so now i am moving to the account of this user so i have already logged in with this user the name is preeti gupta and i have logged in with this credentials and you can see here because we have provided the limited role access to this user therefore this user will only be able to access the supplier portal in the application so you can see this is the supplier portal workbench area so click on it and these are the areas that this user can access which is completely related to the supplier here he can manage the order manage the schedules for the payments here they can uh, see the receipts the returns that have uh, been recorded here it can manage the contracts deliverables also in the invoice and payments area they can create the invoice and this invoice will go to the user the sub to the supplier where they have to validate the invoice and uh, they can make the payment if in case they have made any payment you can see the payments here you can see the invoices here so right now there are no uh, invoices so from here you can create the invoice with po or without po you can see the invoices that are already raised you can see the payments so in this way you can provide the supplier the access to this portal and to the portal they can update the information by themselves 
so this is how the supplier portal works thank you so much for watching this video